My name is Mary Jenga, and I'm a Kenyan environmental scientist. And uh, I'm working on fuel briquettes so that I can contribute to feeding the planet. We talk of hunger in Africa. And hunger is not only from the perspective of not having food. Biomass energy, it's becoming expensive. Kerosene is also becoming expensive. Liquid petroleum gas is unaffordable for majority of us. And so it's getting to a situation where we improve our agricultural production activities and we are able to produce food. But we remain hungry because we do not have fuel to cook it. In Africa, 400,000 deaths are recorded per year from indoor air pollution. For a couple of years now, I've been working on uh, my PhD project, which is on uh, biomass cooking fuel. And uh, what I've been looking at is uh, uh, how local communities like Kebera are having innovations on using biomass uh, material, uh, the organic byproducts, to produce a cooking fuel that is called fuel briquettes. One of the oldest groups in uh, Kebera in making fuel briquettes, they've been doing this for several years now. And uh, what they do is they use charcoal dust, mix it with soil. Okay. Add water. They take the mixture and then they mold it into a solid block. And then they leave it to dry in the sun. The briquette making, it is adapted to the different local situations. You go to the coast and people use coconut husk. You go to the areas where they grow rice and people use rice husks. You go to the areas where people grow sugar and they use sugarcane bagasse. So it all depends on what crop production is going on in those specific areas and people use that byproduct from that agricultural activity and then turn it into briquettes. And this chakodas plus soil burns for four hours with so little carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide and particulate matter. So is briquette making an enterprise that, uh, for example, women in Kenya and in developing countries can use it as a source of income and they can be able to produce cheap energy for their own household use and create some employment. If cooking my traditional meal, maize and beans, getheri, takes me to three hours and costs me so much money, then a lot of people are shifting to anything else, to eating whatever food they can process within the shortest time, using the least cost fuel. But then if you're able to produce, for example, briquettes that are cleaner and cheaper, then people can keep their traditional diets. And therefore, our nutrition will be taken care of.